Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are designing this gym management system and in the last lecture I have shown you how to design this view equipment and how to code on this view equipment button. When I click on this, this form opens and how to show data in this data grid view I have shown in the previous video. So today I'm going to show you how to work with this search member, how to code on the search member button. So let me just show you what is in the search member. We just started this is actually my completed product project and in this let me just enter the username and password that is admin admin and just click on login here in search member when it loads it shows all data uh, resides in the database okay and with the help of search id with the member id you just you can search for the, each member okay so now just let's start with this. If you have not watched my previous video, then first go and watch my previous video. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's start with the today project. Okay, so let me just close this. And after that, we are here. So first what we need is, we need one form. So how to create a form? Just go to your project. Solution Explorer and right click on your project name and there you can search for add. Okay, it's actually running. So let me just stop it. After that, click on add and here you can see this Windows form. So here I am just naming it search member and just click on this add. A new form will be added. So I want that this form needs to be of the previous size form. Okay, so this form size okay so let me just copy the form size and just click on this and paste it here and hit enter okay so first thing what i want is when i click on this uh, search button that this search form needs to be open so how to code that for that you need to just double click on this it will generate a search menu tool strip menu item click event so this is its name is uh, search menu tool strip menu item okay so let me just show you here it's go to its properties and here you can see this its name is search menu tool strip okay so now just double click on this and now this click event is generated and here I want that this form needs to be open for that just create an object of that form so that form name is search members and sm equals new search members and now we have created the object and just with the help of object you can call a function that is show it will show the this form okay so let's start this and when i click on this here you can see this this form is coming up but i want this in the center so how to do that just let me close this and let me just go to search member and click on this right click and go to properties and here you can see this start position search for start position here you can see this it's windows default location but I, what i want is it needs to be in center center screen so now just save it and start when you start it just click on this and you can see it's in the center so now let's start coding on this now its page is working very fine so first thing we need to set the background image so how to do that just go to properties and search for background image okay so here it is background image just click on these three dots and after that this pop-up will be on your screen and select local resources and click on this import and just select a picture which you like so i have selected this and this is stretched that's why this pixel is not so good just select this background image layout and click on this and just select stretched so here now it's looking nice so and let me just copy the logo let me just close this uh, logo of my gym that is star fitness just copy this and paste it here so let me just keep it on the right place so it will look nice so here now it's looking nice so first thing what is what i need is level so let me just drag and drop it here and after that i need one text box in which you can actually enter the id so let me just here okay so let me make it large enough and after that i need 
one button that is search button and after that i need one data grid view to show data so let me just drag and drop this data grid view okay so just put it on the right place and then make it large okay so here we go so now first thing i need to do is just change the name of this label so let's change this number label to enter id and just change this to search and let me just change the button name of this btn search in the same way let's change the name of this text box too to txt search and hit enter okay now what we need is when i click on this search button and enter the id into this now that id value that id data needs to be shown on this okay so how to do that let me just show you before that let me just change the color of this button okay so back color let me just change this to a little bit red okay so now it's looking nice so how to do that for that first we need to generate a click event of this button so just double click on this now button click event is generated and what i need to do is we need to create an sql connection that is database connection for that you need to write the sql connection sql so when you write sql here you can see this data dot sql is okay sorry sql it's actually sql connection and now here you can see this it's showing for using system dot data dot sql it's actually a package you have to import either you can directly mention here or like this or you can do in the same way i have done it okay so after that you need to just write pawn equals new sql connection and after that you need to pass the con dot connection string and connection string will be let me just copy this connection string because okay so let me just copy the connection string here it is let me just copy this and close this let me just paste it here so here we go now connection string is here after that you need to create an object of sql command and that is cmd equals new sql command i have created the object of sql command after that cmd dot connection okay so connection pass the connection in it so i have created the connection object that is con and after that you need to write the query which you want to execute so cmd dot command text here we go so cmd dot command text is equals to here what we need is when i click on that this button so that id value needs to be in this data grid view so how to do that so select star from let me just show you then actually it's a member search member here okay so let me just show you in this uh, in my gym database we have i have three tables and uh, in the new member we have inserted the value of the new members okay so data of this new member so let me just copy this okay so it's actually new member so let me just copy the name actually so just copy this and let me just move this select star from new member where it's id that is in this there is a unique id that is mid where mid equals okay so where we are taking this unique id we are taking this unique id from this text box so how to concatenate with that value into this sql string so it can be done in this way so just hit two plus and in between this you have to write that txt sorry txt search dot text okay so now 
it will be fine okay so actually it's missing one double quotes so here you can see this it's starting and it's ending quotes and it's the starting and it's the ending quotes okay so after the execution we need uh, some container in which the return value from the database needs to be stored so where we want to store this for that I have created a SQL adapter let me just type this SQL data adapter actually and that is GA uh, equals new data adapter okay and in this you have to pass the command that is cmd command object and after that this is here we go with the data set in the data set the actual value going is going to be stored so ds equals new data set okay. and in the in this data set we need to fill the value from this da so let me just do that so da dot fill what data set we want to fill this data set okay so here we go so now let me just uh, create an object that is int a equals 10 i will show you why i have uh, just written this because i want to add a breakpoint here okay so let me show why i have used this breakpoint i'm going to show you how this data is fetched and how this is being stored in this data set okay so let me just start this and now it's working fine now it, when i click on this here we go so I previously shown you let me just show you what actually in the database here is select to start from okay okay so let me just write it that's not an issue select start from new member just select this and execute this and here you can see this these are the new members so I want to have the ID I can search so let me just go to let me just enter this too so just go to this and here you need to enter this too and I click on this search button we will move here so in this way you can see the data from this uh, data set inside here you can see this you just need to Keep your mouse on this you don't have to click anything just go and click on this magnifies magnifying glass and here you can see this how data is in this data set now we have we have the value in the data set now what we want to do is we want to insert this data into data grid view so just let me remove this so i previously have shown you how to insert the data into data grid view i hope you remember if not then just watch it okay so data grid view one dot data source okay data source this data grid view one is the name of this data grid view let me just show you here you can see this data grid view one and this data source equals ds dot tables and just here you can see this just read this data table collection index so i am passing index zero that is the first index and just save it and here you can see this now just start it and here you can see this now enter two and search here you can see this now two is here so one problem is here when this text box is empty and i click on this it will generate an exception so because it's an empty so it's not fetching anything and we are trying to fill that empty into this data set so that's why it's causing problems so we are going to check this that if txt search dot text is equals is equals nothing that is empty so just okay so it's actually not null so let me just do this not null when it's not null then it will be in this uh, this code will be executed and if it's empty and try to search then just populate a message with the help of message box or show this show please enter some id and after that this pop-up name is 
message and there will be a button so how to show the button into this message box that is message box button and i want that just a single button that is ok button and a message box icon message box icon is warning okay so here we go so now just close it and just now execute it just search and when you click on this here you can see this please enter some id and when you enter some valid id like i am entering seven so you can see this it's working nice and let me just enter new data so let me just enter Raj and in this Kumar, let me just mail and just change this date of birth to and let me just enter the phone number. Okay, and in the email ID, Sam5092 at gmail.com. Okay, so it's wrong actually. Dot com and let me just keep this join date to today date and he want to go work out at 6 to 7 pm he is from delhi and here in the member id it's member time is taking for 12 12 months just save it and okay and you can actually search this so search and with the id it's eight okay so here you can see this now raj and every data is here now we have one issue i want that when i click on the search button it's load with the all data into this data grid view so how to do that for that we have to code on this search member load event so just double click on this and you just need to copy this code all code and just paste on here okay so here you need to just remove this because we need all the data and just save it and when i use start this and when you click on this here you can see this it's load with all the data i have inserted eight a bit time ago okay so here you can see this it's for 12 months and you can see the timing and everything is same so that's it for the today's video and in the next video i'm going to show you let me just show what i'm going to show you next video i'm going to show you how to delete actually how to delete members delete the data for users from the database okay so that's it for the today's video thanks for watching please subscribe my youtube channel and for more videos just go and check my playlist and if you have any doubt just comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe thanks